Hey guys, this is Mr. Night Night 858 and welcome back to our episode 6. This is the final episode for Dark Souls 3. Um, we're basically just going to be fighting the main boss, or the last boss I should say. Uh, like, I, like I said last time from my last video, I didn't get to capture quite a few, uh, quite a few, sorry, uh, battles. Like I said, the Dragon Slayer. I didn't get to capture, I apologize, it's just you already, like there were complications along the way, so you already know what happened, I somewhat explained it last episode, uh, I'll fill you guys in a little bit more about that in a later date, I guess, but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy, here's the show, thank you guys. Skyrim. Any help. We got invaded. No, oh, we don't need help. I ended up killing them by myself. Oh god! What oh the my fuck? god, what the fuck? That was news. Careful. That was extremely fucking surprising. Seriously. Wow. this again I mean shield is kind of pointless unless you have a hundred percent fire protection this try one does I think try and dodge him most of the but he won't just first thing yep he got it again oh my god what the fuck he's instantaneously teleporting so much right now Got him. <sighs> God, this guy's annoying. He teleported way more often than he used to. Seriously. Oh, that was interesting. Like, for Do my battle, he teleported brother. maybe three to four times I'm on total. My way. This guy's just teleporting every chance he gets. My brother. I just got lucky. I'm Building sword of Lothric's prince. Rise if you would. For that is our curse. Cheater. I mean, not that we have any complaint, but we can really complain about that because we die and just rise back up. True. <laughs> is it? Is that why his knees? His knees are always on the ground because his fucking armor is so goddamn heavy. No. Oh. There's oh, a whole lore behind that. Oh, careful. it's so fucking heavy. Holy Fuck. shit! Oh, they couldn't even do anything right there. 
just kept fucking getting hit by this shit. I just hit him. Did I do any damage to him? Are you kidding me? Give me the fucking land! Keep wailing on the younger brother and then back off. He does that. Ah! Are you fucking kidding me? He is teleporting a billion times more often than he would before. What yeah. the fuck? Well, you can easily be able to kill him now, but seriously, what the fuck? It is so stupid. I got him. Good. That should not be a fucking thing. Like, he never did that for me. I don't think I've ever seen it happen for anyone else. I don't What's know. Fuck? This game is so fucking crazy broken. I think something bugged out in the scripting that just made him continuously teleport. Probably, dude. I wouldn't be surprised. Now we have to go back to Fire and Try and put the last crown on the thing. <coughs> Was fucking retarded. Like, you were standing right next to him and he'd teleport, and then he'd teleport again after trying to hit you. What? Yup. Most worthy of lords. Ashen one. With the lords as thy witness. Bend thy knee afore the bonfire's coiled sword. And let the lords' embers acknowledge thee. As their true heir, a true lord, fit to link the fire. Do I talk to her? I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Ashen One, may I pose thee a question? I sense that he possesses some knowledge of a great tell. Farewell, Ashme the Flame. Oh shit, here comes the cutscene. Noble Lords of Cinder. Alright, have you melted the bond there yet? I am kneeling right now. He and just the lords died. go without thrones. Uh oh. Yeah, that burst into flames. Yeah. Surrender your fires to the true heir. I'm gonna try some. I put mine. I like how Lord Ludlith just straight up killed himself. Do you hear any weird noises coming from my mic? No. No. No, I just set my mic to I set my mic to continue a stream so that way I wouldn't have to Let him it wouldn't have to recognize my voice and possibly chop out any parts of what I'm trying to say. To the old gods of Lordran, deliverers of the first flame. That's good that it's not doing anything. I fucking hate cords so much, they're just in the way. 
You're so obnoxious. Okay, I'm in the kiln or clin, whatever. Kiln. Yep. Uh, light it and then go up the stairs, and there'll be a bonfire that's uh, a coiled sword that says proceed to the first flame. And I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do that now. Wait, are we back to where that one place were where we were getting our Taurus's armor? Nope. So what the fuck is this place? Why is it exactly the same thing? This is where you fought. Oh well, one, after, once you go outside and click the uh, proceed to the kiln of the first flame, you'll see where we are. If you don't recognize it, then I'll tell you. There's something when you're down in the kiln of the first flame bonfire. So I'll have my summon sign down. Oh, everything's fucked up. I hear a loud music banging. What is that? Oh, you can hear that? Yep. Oh, that's kind of surprising that it picks that up. Proceed to the first flame? Yep. And then make sure you light the bonfire and see that or whatnot. Don't think if she needs to do that. But that would be one of our roommates moving out. Because he's getting married at the end of the year. Oh, wow. So he's moving into his own apartment. Lit the bonfire. Ah, uh, someone's sign should be right next to it. But yeah, this is where you first fought um, Gwen from know. Dark Souls One. Oh, like up there is where you fought him. That door, the one part of the uh, boss door. This is where, like, the original spot where you fought Gwyn, the Lord of Cinder. But Gwyn was a good guy, too. Well, he... he Do you not remember? It. I Do don't, you not remember dude. Me? Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. But isn't... I... Is, did he met the exact same faith as, like, Artorius? No. No. Uh, it's hard to explain, and I don't. I'm not very good at explaining it. And I don't want to try to because then it would just turn out really weird. So what do we do now? You want me to just get in there? Yeah. Because we have to fight the boss. But I'm scared. Yep. Mad dark hey. spirit. Apparently I someone invaded. I know. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> someone invaded. <laughs> All right, here uh... we go. Let's hope we can do this with just the two of us. Oh my lord. How do you have damage already? He missed. Oh god. Ow. Ow. You were standing right behind me and he swung at you and hit me too. Oh. I was like, why is he aiming at me? I haven't touched him yet. Holy fuck. Why would you run to me? He jumped backwards to get away from me because I hit him once. Oh, come on. Every time I'm trying to hit him with a heavy attack, he moves away from me. Nope, he switched to weapon. Tactics. Cheater! He switched to magic, so. Ow. What the hell? How come we can't do that? Because he's the final boss. Again! He ran away from me! <laughs> poison! Holy crap, that's a lot of poison. He like farted. Oh! Snap! I mean, he got you good with that. Oh! 
how he hit me in the first place, but okay. Eh, yeah, fuck. I can't hit him? Nope, not when he's doing that. He's invincible when he's doing the grab tactics. Oh. Careful. Oh, God. <laughs> that could have ended up very badly. That was instantaneous turnaround. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ow. Fucking Christ. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh. Careful. God dang. This guy's angry. Got him. Nice. Sorry, bro. Alright. Now what do we do? Now nah, that was it. And how we get let me beat the boss, I guess. So go put your summons line down at the bonfire. Or at so the door. You want me to go back out? Yeah. Can I even go back out? Cause there's like a big. Oh, okay, never mind. I do can. I can. Give me one second. I need to look up the third ending thing again. Oops.